All right, we're now in search of Alice. The Crystal Exarch is eager for you to meet with Alice. Ready to depart for Amarang, Alice will be overjoyed to see you safe. I know she was particularly concerned for your well-being. She uh, impressed upon me how regrettable the timing of her summoning was, repeatedly. Yeah. Huh. I only hope that my part in sending you to her will garner me some measure of forgiveness. Here, this is a letter of introduction addressed to a man named Cassard, the master of a merchant caravan. There are a few who know the ways of the desert as well as he does. Find him at the Amaro launch, and he will see that you reach your destination. Is that the same guy from the beginning? We'll find out. Because I thought that was him that, that got uh, eaten by the Sin Eaters right at the beginning of Shadowbringers, right? But we'll see. Not him. Hmm, if you've come looking for work, I might have a spot for another guard. Oh, oh, a friend of the Exarch, hoping to meet someone in Amarang, are you? Then I shall be your guide. I was about to set off for our outpost there, as a matter of fact, so we can leave right away, assuming you have everything you need. Yeah. Let's do this. But now I'm ready. All set. Then after the unforgiving sounds we go. And now travel to Amarang. Nice. Amarang. Sono kawaita tochi ni atta kuni wa nabasu aren to itta. うん。昔、そこを旅した時に日に焼けた老人が教えてくれたことがある。彼らの言葉で、アムは偉大な。アレンは大地なのだという。うん。光の反乱があり、かの国も滅びた今、人はどんな思いで this is Alamigo, surely, of that place. And the soundtrack is fire. It's lit, like crazy lit. Oof, no matter how many times I come here, the heat never fails to catch me off guard. Don't be surprised when the temperature drops at night, though. The sky is still bright, of course, but it gets brisk enough to make you shiver. Now, the Exarch's letter said I was to take you to the journey to the inn at Journey's Head, which is where this Alice friend of yours is staying. But that's a fair old distance, so I propose we make a stop in Mord Souk to break up the trek. Allow me to attend to some business and you to enjoy the local hospitality. Sound good? Good. Yeah, we're going to the market. Alright, you lot, I'm off, and I'd better not see the goods covered in sand that I get back. It will be. Right off, right, we head southwest, straight as an arrow. I'm going to the soup. Let's do this. This is like techno desert vibes. Well, it's not techno. It's like slow progressive techno. This is so nice. The music, uh, I mean, the barren wasteland, not so much, but the music, yeah. Stop here a moment. This is your first visit to Amarang, is it not? Before you cross the river of sand, you need to turn around and feast your eyes on that. That? What is that? They built them big, didn't they? That's Castle Shal, a fortress meant to protect the northern reaches of Nabath Rang. 
Yeah, that means castle. Seeing what was left behind, I believe it when they say it was once a Norvant, Norvrant's mightiest nations. Hmm. At least until the flood came along, great chunks of Nabatharang's lands were lost to the light. Its great city included. The few who survived didn't see much point in staying. Most of them, anyway. Not, no, not many choose to come here these days. Not with everything in ruins. Even that hulking great fortress has become little more than an Amaru roost for me and my caravan. But not everywhere is as deserted as this place. Just wait until you see more Tsuk. Let's press on, shall we? Yeah, this is Alamigo of this place, but um, it's even worse than Alamigo. Like, it's no Amigo. It's, it's over. <laughs> We're here to revive it, though. That's what we do. We're here to bring life again. Fields of Amber. Here we are, Mortsuk, by the blessed shadow. I love this town. Oh, oh I leveled up. Oh. Let's see. Again. Maro keep. Shansan. High level 385 gear, yeah. Because I needed to do that actually, so I can enter uh, Stormblood's last mission. But I don't think we'll need to do that soon, after dungeons and all that. Let's get this. I'm trying to find why he would like this town, but. I guess it's because it has inhabitants, like people. <laughs> like it's got one, two, three, four, five people. I guess it's something. It's it's something, yeah. All right, next mission. Did the basics. The city of the Mord. Gassard stands at the entrance of Mordsuk, an eager smile on his face. Mordsuk, not just full of Mord, but Humes and all manners of others too. It has long been a refuge for folk displaced by the flood, so the population is nothing if not diverse. Oh, have you met a Mord before? They might look like shiny little blighters, but a more welcoming lot you could ever you could never wish to meet. Speaking of which, we should pay our respects to Master Gen Gen. Gang, gang. I'll go ahead and let him know we've arrived. All right, just walk through. Gin, gin, and gin, gin, and zin, 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 or zin, zin, and run, run, <laughs> and bill, bill. Bun bun. Okay, so the goblins, well, the kobolds. They're a bit different. So this is a mord? That's a kobold. What beady eyes? That's a kobold. Yeah. ゲンゲンさん、こいつが今話した水晶港の知り合いです。ああ、初めまして
そんなの通り、今となってはアムアレーンで最大の賑やかな市場があるのさ。オッケー。ここらの鉱山で採れる鉱石はもちろん、他では見かけない面白い品も出回ってる。アムアレーンに好んで来る奴はいないって言ったが
They all look tasty, yes? Which to choose? Which to choose? Uh, Marsh loaf. Ah, very wise. You won't wither on the sands with a gut full of cactus fruit filling. You have the gold? One coin. And done. One Vobertite. Vo Vobertite. Okay. mouthful go for it man don't give up what an appetite what a belly a new legend is born in Mortsuk consider your coin purse cracked I am pleased to accept your custom and Gengen will be pleased that you honored ours hey, man the cactus fruit is tough keeping the merchandise down yes no returns I mean, man, just bread. Imagine if I had the, the frogs. <laughs> or the lizard meat. That'd be rough. I was watching from here, Divi. You honored our custom and with great relish. You will always be welcome in Mortsu. If you need anything in Amarang, we are here to provide. Okay. Well, so I'll say he's been eating that for a while now. Cool, cool. Working off the meal, Castard is impressed by your gastronomic fortitude. <laughs> you have courage, my friend. Ron Ron's wares are more exotic than harmful, but I don't envy you the belly ache you'll have on the morrow. Right, now that you've eaten, I expect you're eager to get back on the road. Would you mind if we delayed our departure a touch? I have a few deals left to close before I can conclude my business here in Mortsuk. Yeah, okay. Oh, offering your services, are you? Aye. Well, an assistant would certainly help carry things along. I have a receipt here for some goods that need picking up from the market, all properly paid for. You just need to do the lifting and carrying. I'll go and take care of some last-minute haggling, then. See you in a bit. You may view the market receipt at any time by using the key items menu. Okay. So... Chest of perishables. We just uh, take it. What? What? No, no, no. This is Ban Ban's private worm stash. Not for sale. Ah. Table cactus, don don. Iron ore, dol dol. Nabatharang antiques, mil mil. To be collected from mul mul. Mil mil from mul mul. So. Keep away from my favorite worm stash. Get back, I say. So how are we supposed to... Uh... Mm, maybe we need something from someone else. Another... <clears throat> another item. And then he's gonna tell me stay away. Huh? Hungry again already? You have a strong stomach, friend, but I don't eat those. Okay, so not this one. Let's use mount. There. If you're handling a caster exporter work, you've come to the wrong place. He has no outstanding orders with my shop. Yo, buying supplies at the rest price is a simple enough task. Transporting the damn things on the other hand is a different matter entirely. Yeah, but... Hmm? Hmm. So no one will give me anything. No, there might be an order we need to do. Table cactus from Tonton. And then Toltol. And then Mulmul. 
So dun 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 Sack of Herbal Remedies You came in with Custard, yes? Good, good. I can finally stop thinking about that sack. Please take your prickly purchase. Awesome. So it was that. Momo's the last. Where's downtown? Mm. That's Latgar. Toltol, yeah. Okay, good, 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 yeah. Castor sent you, did he? Right, yes. What kind of ore was it again? Iron ore. Iron ore, of course. That would explain this box I have here. It's all yours. Uh, I think he might have just picked it up and walked with it. Hey, no touching. That merchandise is spoken for. You couldn't possibly change my mind with a better offer. What? Cassard sent you? W why didn't you say so? I wouldn't dream of selling his goods to a higher bidder. Oh, no, 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 no. Nabatharang relics, was it? Wasn't it? All packed in that box here. Handle with care. Don't tell me you've uh, been around the entire market already. Aye, that's the lot. Alright, good work. And quick work too, considering you've not set foot in the place before. I thought you want to sit in a city like the Exarch, but something tells me you're not a stranger to visiting strange lands. Unfortunately, your efficiency presents something of a problem. I'd hoped to conclude all my business before you return, but it seems there's been some confusion over one of the orders I placed. I'll have to drag in my middleman and sort this mess out. I'm sorry to make you sit around and twiddle your thumbs. Gazard, it feels like an age since I last saw you. Oh. Well, if it isn't the lovely Tesline. It's been a while, but your timing couldn't be better. This gentleman was on his way to meet with Alice. I'm supposed to be taking him to a corner of the desert, but a misplaced order has commandeered my attention. Wait, I know who you are. Alice has told me so much about you. You're Divi, aren't you? Yeah. I knew it. How wonderful to meet you in the flesh after hearing all those stories. I'm Tesleen. I work as a carer at the inn, and I've gotten to know Alice quite well since she took up guard duties here. There. Do you want me to take over as Divi's guide, Gassard? My shopping's all done and packed for the road, so it wouldn't be no trouble. That would be a great help. Thank you. Well, it looks like you'll be able to head straight out after all. My caravan and I will be in the area for a while yet. Seek me out when you've had your fill of Amarang, and I'll send you back to the Kurstarium. Mm -hmm. I have the whole outfit here. But let's uh, let's check out what they have as an outfit for for the zone because it's different. It's called white oak. So yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I do have better things. Like this one I picked up from the Alligan uh, Tome thingy.
didn't get that yet. No, it's the same thing. Wait. What? No. It shouldn't be. White oak gear. Oh, that's the traveler. Strange. Gloves. Okay. Oh, it's the same thing, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's what I'm wearing. Alright, good. We already have it. Onwards. A desert crossing. Tesline is eager to set off. Alice has been desperate to see you, Divi, so let's get you to her sooner rather than later. This, the inn isn't too hard to find, really. You can't see... You can actually see the top of the rock spires from there. Uh, we just need to swing around the ridge, then head south. Come on, I'll get my supplies together and meet you outside. Alright. Let's go. Gotta adjust the seating. All set. Oh, I should probably mention the ma the wildlife. While most of them will leave you be if you keep your distance, the local coyotes have learned to prey on folk heading home from the markets. I can usually swing a sword well enough to fend them off, but I may have loaded myself down with too many bargains today. Do you think you can handle any beasts that try to make a meal of us? Yeah. I thought you might. Alice was always saying how much you... Um, I mean, let's get going, shall we? Oh, okay. Alice has been... Uh, been talking how much she uh, I protect her I am the protector oh. one wandering coyote Sorry, there wasn't much time to shout a warning. Were you bitten? Those things can be nasty. And yet hardly a match for you, it seems. I've always, I'd always thought Alice was strong, but in her mind, she was never... Mm, now it makes sense. <clears throat> well, we should push on. It might be best if you scout ahead and clear out any coyotes that you have our scent. I'll wait here so you can fight without any distractions. Easier. Aggressive techno desert. Not the soundtrack I'd expect here at all, but look at this huge crystal formation. Yeah. Quick screenshot. Skill. Yes, now I can go faster. Yeah. I think it's gonna be useful uh, when I'm doing like trials or uh, in any boss encounter really, because it just speeds up my movement speed by some amount for five seconds. It's good, like, if there's a mechanic, like, you need to really, you know, you're on their last hit, you're doing the last hit, and you need to move out. Twitch. Wait, this is Twitch? <laughs> Twitch, right there. This is literally Twitch. One, one little thing. Can't go inside Twitch, no. Well, interesting. 
Oh, thank goodness you're back. I could hear the howling and snarling from here. Frightful creatures. Let's hope the rest have seen your handiwork and know to avoid us now. I need to get these supplies back to the inn. Mm. Okay. Alright. Here we are. This is it. Thanks to you, I didn't have to drop my shopping even once. Come to think of it, I'm glad I didn't make the trip alone. It seems you ended up escorting me. I'll have to repay the favor somehow. But first, let's head inside, shall we? Hmm? Yeah. Of course, it's rough. Welcome to the Inn at Journey's Head. You might be our first visitor from the Crystarium since Alice arrived. That's five, that's three years ago. It's not much, but it's home for the afflicted and a handful of car carers. Yeah. Afflicted? You don't know? No? I don't think I've met anyone besides Alice who was so unfamiliar with our situation here. Most folk have grown up knowing someone who knew someone. Hmm, I might leave out something obvious, so it may be best to have Alice give you the full explanation. Okay. I think it's just a weak Aether. Following in her footprints, Tesleen casts her gaze around the inn, hoping to spot Alice. Now, where is she? Hmm, I think she might be out on patrol. You could wait, I suppose, but why not go and surprise her? She usually takes things, takes a look at things from the watchtower first, so you might be able to catch her there. It's not far. Head out south side, and you'll soon see it. I'll stay behind in case she comes back while she while you're gone. Alright. Wonder if Alice got a bit stronger than last time, last we saw. I don't think anyone would be as powerful as Warrior of Light, but still. Just a tad bit stronger. Gigantic crystal formation here. Oh. Oh, it got it absorbed. Oh, yeah, this is the wave. This is basically an aether wave that happened. Like in the children's book that we saw before. This is that. It swallowed some pieces of the buildings. Alice is nowhere to be seen, but you spot fresh footprints on the ground, and they look to be about the right size. Small footprints lead off to the northwest. You could definitely have a rave or a party. No rave, a party. Like with just that, that, that music in the desert. Right here, next to the plant. Footprints continue northwest. You can definitely imagine DJ just standing like on top of one of those buildings. People are just like having a drink. Staring at the aether wall. Footprints curve to the west. There are more tracks here, but they end in a mass of disturbed land. Hmm. 
Send it up. Focus, as I say, focus. Oh. All right. New skills. That crazy slashing thing. Impressive. How you say hi to me? After three years? Mm. Mm -hmm. New outfit. Hi. sent here. Um, have to save you. So, the battle is a一度待たせている みんな<笑> そのために第一世界を積み食いから救わなきゃいけないって。うん、うん。ね、あの大きな白い壁を見て。あれが光の氾濫の後よ。100年前、ここ第一世界では光の力が異様に高まっていた。それがある被験界を超えて溢れたそ
and just turn you into one. Oh. Oof. Yeah, that's the scary part that they can just turn you into one. You know, just control your aether. The stronger ones. Like she said, put a seed and then it, you become them. It's just a matter of time. More for some, less for others. Those patients will all become monsters in the end. And to add insult to injury, the afflicted are feared, shunned, cast out of society and exiled here to the edge of the world. The only good thing I have to say about this hellish place is that it has served me as well as as training ground. Tesleen and the others have also been kind enough to share their knowledge of Sin Eaters, which is knowledge I can now share with you, while you help me finish my patrol, of course. Yeah. Telling the ranks, Alice would have you help finish her patrol. Here's what we'll do. I'll take the east side of the inn and you clear the west. That way you can have an undiluted experience with the resident terrors. These marks on your map are where the usual trouble spots are. <clears throat> you can assume that any beast with a white hide or carpass is a sin eater, but you'll know for sure soon enough when they come slavering after your aether. Remember, it's kill or be killed with these monsters. Once you've slain whatever's prowling out there, we can rendezvous back at the north entrance. Good hunting. Okay. So those used to be living creatures, so either animals or people. And now they just want to eat. Yeah. No feeling, no remorse, no nothing. Pure light. That's why the Warrior of Darkness said light and darkness, uh, light and shadow don't really matter too much. It's how you use them. Because, uh, as you can see here. Too much good. actually don't die that quickly. It's like a pretty good mob. Pretty good strength mob. For a given cowardice. I want to maybe try to understand a little bit as we play and get the story why they're called forgiven. Forgiven cowardice, forgiven fear. Um, hmm. We'll see. I have a good idea, but I don't want to jump to conclusions yet. shaped like a horse yeah this could have been an animal How did you fare? Ah, I thought there might be one or two lurking on the fringes. Nothing out of the ordinary for this area. I expect you noticed it yourself, but individually, these lesser sin eaters are no more deadly than any natural predator you might encounter in the desert. That's when they appear in numbers they pose a uh, threat. Much like the Void Scent, they have an unfortunate tendency to flock to the strongest of their kind. Thus, when a powerful Sin Eater goes on the hunt, it might be attended by a veritable swarm of weaker kin. Imagine an army of such creatures descending on a village or hamlet. 
That's the basic idea behind my patrols, to call their ranks often enough that their numbers won't be overwhelming when the big ones come out to play. And you've certainly helped on that front. Let's report our victories, victories to Tesleen, shall we? Like a giant tomato. Alright. No, like a, a red cauliflower. Kind of. Uh, Alice tells me you helped out, I helped out on her patrol. You have our thanks, and my apologies for leading you from one battle to another ever since the moment we met. In any case, I'm glad to see the two of you found each other. You have no idea how badly Alice has missed your company. Everything is always, if Divi were here, he would... Oh, embarrassing here. That's an exaggeration, and I don't sound like that either. I was simply trying to view matters from another perspective, and I respect Divi's methods. <laughs> Honestly, after seeing him in action, I can understand why. The way he leaps into the fray without hesitation, it really is something to behold. I might be a little smitten myself. <laughs> I'm only teasing. Though I've no doubt he deserves all the admiration he gets, just as you do. Alright, alright. Fine, fine, fine. Purchase of fruit. Tesline has the air of a woman being pulled in ten directions at once. I'd love to lay out a welcome meal, but the duties I put off when I went to the market are still waiting for me. Ah, there are a few hundred one things that need to do. Denny doing, I'm sorry, but would you mind waiting here with Alice? What, and twiddle our thumbs while you work yourself to death? Surely, something. I could do with the hand, it's true. Thank you. You can start by helping me sort out the, lar the larder, Alice. While we do that, could you tend to a few patients, perhaps? There are three in particular I meant to visit. It's just a matter of saying a, word, a few words to them, and seeing that their skin isn't caked in sand. Their names are Pownell, Todden, and Haldrick. Haldrick. They may not give much in the way of a response, but I promise they'll be pleased to meet someone new. Todden glances at you blankly, but you notice the tension in his face ease slightly. No. Alaric remains utterly still as you wipe the sand from his cheek. The texture of his skin has hardened into something akin to plaster. Complete blank. Yeah. Where is the... Oh. You've seen to the patients. How were they? Good. That's good. I knew they would enjoy meeting you. I'm concerned about Haldrick, though. I'll have to speak with the other carers. I think this time may be near. We shall leave you to have that discussion, then. I was going to take Divi to Mordsuk if you have any errands there that need doing. Well, I suppose there's one thing. Would you pick up the a nectarine from the markets, please? Cassert's caravan just passed through, so Ron Ron should have some fresh fruit. Come then, Divi. There's something I want you to see. Right after we stop at Run Run Stall, of course. Sure. Again, are you? You need another taste of Ron Run Run's wares? 
Actually, we're looking to buy a nectarine. Do you have any in stock? Oh yes, nectarines, peaches, grapes, fruits, fresh and juicy. Hmm, given how richly you cracked your coin purse with me, I might still owe you food. Here, take this one, free of charge. Gods, I've never seen a Mord merchant give away something for nothing before. How much coin did you spend here? Oh yes, I'll take a jar of honeyed worms as well. You... Hmm? Oh no, they're not for me. It's an offering of sorts. Okay, I thought so. Um, the worms, if you please. <clears throat> Only the best regulars for you. Come again, my friends. Right, that's our shopping chores taken care of. Let's head up past the Etherite to the main tower. I, the view I want to show you can only be seen from its very top. Okay. Your precious worms that buys us a trip to the top of the tower, does it not? Glazed regulars, you brought them. I really shouldn't let you, but just this once, all right? Only once. Never fails, shall we? あそこを見て大きな結晶の切れ間のところ。向こうに白い地平が見えるでしょ。あれが光の氾濫に飲まれた土地だぜよ。ただ真っ白な何一つない無の空間。Like さっき買ったネクタリンであるりくのあの積み食いかが進んでたこの鉱物なのよあの子も含め多くの患者は力ある積み食いに襲われながら過労死で生き延びた人よでもその場では助かったというだけで敵の力は彼らに食い込み、エーテルを光で侵食していた。加えて環境もご覧の通り、普通の人なら体が自然とバランスを整えるけれど、彼らはもう、はびるがままに光を蓄えてしまう。だからね、遅かれ早かれ、
誰のせいにしたところであなたを戦場に置いてきた鉄鋼会は消えやしなかった。Yes. だから、fine. 決めたの。It happens. こっちでできることがあるなら、苦しい道だって走り抜けてみせるって。それが今の私の決意で、支えだわ。I was about to say earlier that just to kill them before they get turned is actually a mercy, big time, and that's what they do. And through poison, too, is depending what kind of poison. I'm glad I was able to show you that. When it comes to understanding the catastrophe which befell the first, one glimpse of the empty wasteland beyond the wall is worth more than an hour of Urian Jay's lecturing. I need you to know beyond a doubt that Tesleen has no other choice. The nectarine will be a kindness. It just isn't it isn't just the threat posed to others. When a person becomes an eater, the pain appears to be excruciating. The carriers are truly fond of their wards and would spare them that suffering. It is their way of fighting back against a fate worse than death. True. True, it is worse. It is worse. It's just like you're cursed to roam around and eat other people. And, you know, become a zombie, basically. Just can fly. But maybe, maybe, once we... Yeah, I wanted to say once we purge the light, but I don't think that's what we're going to be doing. Um, once we defeat... Once we restore balance and avoid the rejoining. There we go. Maybe they turn back. Maybe they go back to being normal. I don't know. They said that the change happens because they plant a seed, the stronger ones in you, that uh, messes up with your aether, like equilibrium. Or you get bit or something like that, and it changes. Or you were in the flood out there and you got affected. But in the end, your aether is imbalanced. It's in, not in equilibrium. What if we bring equilibrium to the whole world? Would their aether be in equilibrium? Go back to normal? It would be a nice ending, but we'll see. Ancient lizard. We'll see, we'll see. You're back. I hope you had a nice time. Did you manage to find the nectarine? I did. And now I know why you're gonna... Oh, man. Thank you. Alice has explained why I wanted this, has she? I can see it in your eyes. But we may not need it just yet. I spoke with the others, and we've decided to keep an eye on Heldrick for now. Uh... Thanks to you, though, if his time does come suddenly, we'll be ready to send him on his way with a taste of happier days. Why is it always when I show up, these people, like, usually they make decisions like that, suddenly they just change their mind? I mean, I, mean, I am the game changer, but come on, like, if he needs to go, he needs to go, you know? The time left to us. Jesleen makes an effort to smile brightly. Oh, yeah. Well, nothing's going to happen for a little while yet, so let's see if we can't lighten the mood. We don't want our gloomy faces worrying the patients. I think it's time for that welcome meal, don't you? Take a seat and I'll make us a nice stew. Yeah, that's that's actually amazing. That they can actually smile during that. Ah, yeah. Like that's that's asking a lot, you know, given the current situation. ここなしかいつもよりくだくさんじゃないうん正解クリスタリウムからのお客さんなんて珍しいからちょっと奮発してしまいましたうんいいんだ、ご飯とは違う 
ずるいよだって本当に珍しくて嬉しいことなんだものうんほらここは捨てられたり別れたりそういうことばっかりの場所だから Seems yeah. もともとは私もね、住み食いになりかけてたお母さんを連れて、ここに来たの。うん。助けられない。殺すしかないと分かっていながら、どうしてもできない。みんな大体そう。それでこんな最果ての荒野を目指すのここにあるのは希望なんかじゃないわほんの少しの猶予とせいぜい痛みのない死だけ<笑>それでもお母さんが静かに息を引き取った時こうして見とれてよかったって本当に思ったんだ At least, yeah. うんそうだね救われるって信じていても見てきた人の命を奪うのは。身勝手かもしれないけどいっそ闇の戦士が来て変わってくれればいいのにって毎回思う okay,、so、闇の戦士ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、闇の戦士は地の使い命を刈り取り天の暗き海に返す、うん、誰も逃れることはできない人も人が成り果てた積み食いでさえもって感じだったかなまあ実際にはそんなの見たことがないからおとぎ話みたいなものなんだろうけど。So the warrior of darkness is actually a good guy in their view。そうかな。Who takes eaters and sinners? 人でも積み食いでも命を返してくれるってところ、私は好きなんだけど。Hmm. He's like the death reaper, kind of. In their view, or in her view, at least. Sentimental. As really, as I said, as soon as I show up here, I don't know, their emotions go in whack and they start doing mistakes. Divi, I'll say, we have to go look for Heldrick. I don't know what's gotten into him, but if he's wandering out there alone, we'll search, we'll assign search areas and split up. Any idea where he might be headed? No, he's never done anything like this before, but it can't be a coincidence that the other patients are suddenly so agitated. They can sense something. In any case, let's keep the search close to the inn. Alric isn't very sure on his feet, so he won't have gone far. I'll search the east side. Please, Alric, please be alright. I'll cover the north and west, then you take everything from here to the south. Alright. Yeah, I don't think he used his feet. He probably used his wings. Yeah. And 
this. No, she probably took her eyes off him for a second. No sign of Alaric. Maybe he went further west. But how could the warrior of darkness have known that this would be the outcome? Like every time they ask him to go kill this, he just did it. And you know, he's he's doing his part right. Like he they did it while the warriors of darkness did it very well. Difficult. You can scan your surroundings in search of Hollywood and suddenly find yourself under attack. Forgiven folly. Okay. was a sinner apparently and he was forgiven by the light so he got turned into a scorpion and I, no 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 i said i wouldn't jump to conclusions so let's not do that because we'll see but i have i have a feeling that it's basically uh, you know cowardice folly greed is going to be that so and those are sinners but then no, we'll see, we'll see. We have uh, incomplete information up till now. That's one of the strong ones, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's... okay. There's hope. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, she can fight. She's gonna get turns. Now she gets turned. Oh man. Mm. Oh. Oh, the 
that's rough. Nasty. Yeah. That's sad, man. Yeah. Oof. Now we have to kill her too. Oh, she still got it. She still retains consciousness. Okay. Thanks, Ulrich. Now we ruined the whole care center. Uh, Ulrich. Should have given you the nectarine, man. I, I'm sorry, Divi. I tried to tell the carers what happened, but I can't be the shoulder they lean on. Not like this. You gotta go. You gotta go tell them. You gotta go do it. Man, that's so sad. Like she was, oh, she was always trying to keep the others from, like, turning like that, and she's kept, kept probably many, many, and then she got turned like that. What a twist! It's just so unfair. Teslin was always so cheery with the patients, telling them not to be scared, that there wouldn't be any pain. Of all the people in the world to suffer such a fate. Truly. As I said, as soon as I show up, mistakes start happening, and, you know, maybe we shouldn't show up anymore. Honestly. I imagine you're just as shocked as the rest of us, so I appreciate what you're doing there. Me, I can barely... I don't have the words. Without a body, we can't even give her a proper burial. And she cared about that sort of thing, about giving people the chance to say their goodbyes. Oh, man. But that was rough. Like, you basically puke out all of your internals and it gets turned into light and the aether gets taken out of you and then the light bleeds out of your eye and then you kind of become burned by the light. Kind of like uh, smited a little bit. Then you undergo this transformation. Oof. That was very brutal to show it to us, actually. Halderick is as, as, as unresponsive as ever. He stands motionless, staring up into the sky, where the Sin Eaters made their escape. And you should just, like, give him the nectarine now. Yeah, like... <clears throat> Alice is lost in grief. I've spoken with the carers. <clears throat> Thank you. What you're doing, it, it means a lot to them, to me. Sorry to interrupt. We, uh, we realized we hadn't thanked you for rescuing Halric. You weren't hurt at all, were you? Hurt? There wasn't even a fight. I was too late, too slow, and I thought I could protect you. You can't blame yourself for things beyond your control. You brought Halric back safe and sound. No one could have done any more. It is true. I'm sorry, but I've come to a decision. I won't be continuing in my role here. I hope you will forgive me for leaving you and that you will delay Halric's, Halric's last meal for as long as you possibly can. Not until it's too late, of course. Just give him what time you can. You always do. 
Why are they so shocked? Of course, she would have done the same. Farewell, Aldric. Keep Tesselin's words close to your heart. Wait, you're leaving this very moment? I understand how you must feel, but surely this is a bit hasty. Do you even know? Uh, do you even have anywhere to go? I have a destination in mind, yes, and a purpose. This damned light building without seas. It's the reason we can't save those corrupted by the eaters. But what if we corrected the balance, even if it were only by a little by little? Even if it took years, it would surely make things better. Now, hold on there. Everyone knows there's too much light, but how could you ever hope to get rid of it? You'd have to change the whole world. That's what we do. That's right. We should return to Crystarium. I may not be able to repel the eaters on my own, but I can still use the skills I have gained here to hurt them. But it was very noble of Tesleen all this time, and even at the end, right at the end, she still gave her like a very nice smile, happy moment, you know. Where is he? But the thing is, is he probably isn't aware of, of what even happened, like just, just like that. Just like that. Okay, what if we do this? Let me try something out. Nope. I imagine that works. I would have found the solution. But no, it's not. The red serrae. Yeah, okay. But man, it's so it's so frustrating that this happens to Tesleen. You know what? Why can't I be taken to that? I should be able to go to the landing, or we could just do that. Starry. I'm sure we'll get to see a lot of those frustrating moments where why would you do this and then it happens and then you start blaming and then it couldn't do anything about it, you know? For the end of the day, it had to be what it had to be. There's a, there's a lot of despair in this world, it's, it's insane. Wait, am I on the wrong map? It seems so. This exit, okay. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna. Alright, when we get there. And here we are. Although, see, like there was one here. Forgive me, DV, I couldn't stay a moment longer. But I was serious about what I said. While the men and women at the end battle against this blight with kindness, I must fight it in my own way with steel. Miss Alice, is there anything I can get you? Steel, your swiftest Amaro. I need to return to Crystarium immediately. As you wish. But why don't I have this path? Because I tried to use it. I was right here, even. <laughs> ah, remind me to wear goggles if you ever fly over Amarang again. I barely got the sand out of my eyes. But the wind did help to clear my head, at least. I think I'm ready to meet with Exarch. We need to talk about how we're going to wipe the Sin Eaters out, shall we? Yeah, there's definitely... We need to do something. That is certain.
Thank you for seeking me out, Devi. It meant a lot to have you there at my side. And looking at Alphino, I'd say he's eager to begin this discussion as I am. I say we lay our experiences before the Exarch and step back to see what kind of picture they make. Then we can decide where to go from there. From here. Alright. Good, good. 